Cowboys. Kelly Hill on Alpha. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. I've been gathering and analyzing data from NASA Select TV broadcasts for about nine years now. I produced this film, first in a series, to enlighten you on what I found. It's been a lot of hard work, but I feel it was worth it. All the video you're about to see is courtesy of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. I put it together in such a way as to hopefully tell each story as accurately as possible. This film represents my own opinions on the many anomalous objects we'll explore in the next, next 90 minutes or so. But at the end of the day, it's up to you to draw your own conclusions. At all times during these events, the shuttle's payload bay camera was under the control of the instrument and communication officer, known by the acronym ENCO. He was operating by remote control from a desk in Mission Control Houston. The ENCO has the last word on what goes out to the public from these live downlinks from the space shuttle. Likewise, the Communication and Tracking Officer, or CATO, remotely operates the TV cameras aboard the International Space Station. He is responsible for everything we see from ISS. Both these persons have a cutoff switch and operate on a confirmed 20-second delay in their television broadcasts. Coming up next, we will examine some of the tricks these fellows use to hide anomalies from public view. Since the late 1990s, NASA have been adding a snow mask or artificial noise to live downlinks taken at night. It's almost always present in night video from the shuttles and ISI. The Incos and Kados are human beings, however, and sometimes they forget to turn it on. We have some startling examples of this coming up. In these cases, either the snow is forgotten altogether, or it is very suddenly turned on after a short interval of clear pictures from space. Please bear in mind that television from space is as common as sunshine. Most of the programming you see on your TV at home comes from satellites in high orbit. ISI and the shuttles use such satellites to relay their TV signals back to Earth. Have you noticed a mask of annoying snow in your favorite shows lately? Neither have I.
August 2001 and it's sunset over the eastern United States. As soon as the sun is gone, the snow is suddenly turned on like the flick of a switch. Also note the red-green-blue color cycling. We'll address that phenomenon later on. This is another example from August 2001. See how the snow is applied to the video as soon as the sun is gone from view? This mask seems to me a good way to obscure fine detail in night video. Things such as anomalies. This clip from the ISS spacewalk of March 2005 is a classic example of a forgotten switch. Once the sun has fully set, we have a perfectly clear picture. But the Cato swiftly rectifies that situation. In this portion of the ISS spacewalk of November 2005, we see the usual nastiness until the Cato switches to the helmet camera in astronaut Bill MacArthur's spacesuit. This picture is crystal clear. But they can't leave that alone, so it's back to the degraded view from before. Here we have a curious bar pattern superimposed over the downlink from Issy during the spacewalk of February 2006. In this case, from the ISS spacewalk of January 2005, the snow was switched off, possibly by accident. When the error was noticed, there was a sudden cut to a camera inside ISSI for just a few seconds. Upon returning to the outside view once more, the snow mask was back in place again. One thing I must point out is that for interior views from ISSI and the shuttles, there is never a hint of snow, day or night. The mask is only used in nighttime broadcasts from outside where the odd anomaly might be seen. This segment will show proof positive that the snowy mask is indeed an addition to the downlink after it is received from our spacecraft. Note the clarity of the NASA logo in this pre-launch sequence. There is no snow at all here. Now compare the logo in this nighttime downlink from STS-121. You can actually see that the snow is overlaid upon the TV from space. The logo is as snowy as the picture. Unless the snow were added after the fact, the logo would be crystal clear. What do you think of all this? These examples show just what the low-light night cameras aboard American spacecraft are capable of at night. This view is over Colorado with Denver near top center. See how clear the video is. This is a nighttime pass over California. We can plainly see the cities and towns below. The San Francisco Bay Area is the circular pattern near center. The greater Los Angeles area follows close on with Las Vegas, Nevada to the left, shining brightly in the desert night. Now we take a last look at the rubbish we are usually shown by these cameras at night. Pretty bad, isn't it? 